Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmore here for another video right here on the Peter Gilmore YouTube Wrestling Channel, youtube.com slash Peter Gilmore. Thank you all for watching on this late Friday evening, August the 6th, 2021. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down below, and subscribe to all my other channels, which are down below in the description box. And as always, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, share this video all over the internet. And don't forget to tap that bell and turn on all my notifications so you never ever oh baby ever miss an upload and that's it so simple a douchebag like you can do it but it is what I what it is and that's all I gotta say about that all right ladies and gentlemen on this pretty warm humid Friday evening August the 6th, 2021, we got SmackDown coming up in about an hour and a half, so check that out, should be some good stuff tonight, um, on SmackDown, um, I don't even know where it's from, and I really don't care, um, I know Raw is gonna be in Orlando on Monday, and then a new episode of, uh, well, a lot, another live episode of, uh, a live episode of NXT on Tuesday from the Capitol Wrestling Center on the USA Network. And then AEW comes to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for Dynamite! And their, the debut of Rampage on Friday night. That, as always, SmackDown as well next Friday the 13th at 8 p.m. on Fox! Yeah, so yeah, Friday the 13th next week, so uh, say uh, happy birthday to uh, Jason Voorhees next week. Uh, that's all I gotta say ab about that. Hopefully uh, you won't get, uh, if you're superstitious, you don't, you know, all those superstitions, you know, nothing happens and all that other shit. And it's sponsored by Skittles, Butcher Skindies. And also by Bips. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, uh, quickly before we get into SmackDown. As the title below says, we're going to update about a video that I did a couple of days ago about a good buddy, Adam Cole, baby! Now, I mentioned, um, a lot of people mentioned that Adam Cole, his contract was going to be up at, right after NXT TakeOver 36, when he loses to Kyle O'Reilly oh, 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 in their third match, loser leaves NXT match. So he's going to leave, and he's going to become a free agent. <coughs> so now everybody's like, oh, he's going to AEW to be with his wife, Britt Baker, DMD, baby. He might go back to Ring of Honor. He might go to Impact. He might go back to Japan. Who knows what's going to happen with Adam Cole. He might come back to the WWE uh, and sign with Raw and SmackDown. Who knows? So we got that. But there's an update today. Um, about Adam Cole, um, that he he is on SmackDown. No, he's not going to be wrestling anything like that. Um, I hit on site. Um, so Adam Cole is going to be on SmackDown to talk to Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Uh, in a closed door meeting about his contract status. So, um, looks like uh, Vince is going to give try to give him an offer. Now, I don't know if, if Cole's going to take it or not. Because uh, Tony Khan supposedly came out and said that we don't we don't have we they had an offer of him and they took it off the table. Now he's like Tony Khan's like oh we never had it to begin with. So I don't know if Tony Khan's lying. That he already has a deal for Adam Cole. I mean, who knows at this point? With uh, Adam Cole, baby. B baby. And um, we shall see what happens. We'll see what happens from there. And uh, that's all I gotta see. I'm trying to find the uh, the link to it. And as always, I get, I get things from like three months ago. It's like it's like going on going on ringside news and trying to get the get the get the news. It 
doesn't work. Okay, all right, here we go. We we got a couple of things. Um. Alright, uh, let's get into the Adam Cole stuff. Let's not waste any more time. But there, there's some, there's some stories on some interesting stories on Ringside News. Pete Dunne, uh, his contract's coming to an end, so we don't know if he's gonna go to the main roster or he's gonna leave too. I would hate for NXT to lose him, but I think he'll resign. Um, John John Cena is worried about the stability of um, the WWE. You know, after he leaves, it's like what's gonna happen with the WWE. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Alright, let's get into the Adam Cole stuff. Now, I originally said that AEW made a contract offer to Adam Cole, baby. But then Tony Khan said we never made a, made a deal. All right, this, the original said that Adam Cole's contract is up at SummerSlam. Uh, Wrestling Observer noted that there is no indication that he's AEW bound at this time. That being said, there is still a lot of interest from AEW to sign him to a contract. In fact, the deal is already on the table, but as, as Tony Khan said, there is no deal. No, this is all, you know, the past couple days, so. There was a uh, no long-term deal offered by the WWE. And, um, blah, 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 they talk about, uh, you know, Britt Baker and stuff like that. Uh, then they talk about Pete Dunne's deal. It's basically in the same situation, but it's unknown exactly when his contract is set to expire. So. So Pete Dunne and Adam Cole, baby, could be gone by, uh, in the next, uh, 14, uh, no, next 16 days, next two weeks, but we'll see what happens with that. Alright, uh, let's get to the story, uh, about Cole at SmackDown, blah, 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 it says, uh, he's in Tampa, oh, that's what, that's, uh, so, yeah, so, uh, take it, little skittle, so, Adam Cole is on SmackDown. SmackDown's emanating from Tampa, Florida. No, I don't know if it's at the uh, the Tampa Bay uh, Lightning Arena. You know, the, the Stanley Cup champion, the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't know if it's in that, that arena or it's in another arena. It's not at the, at the Trop. At the Tropicana Field because I think the Delaware's are home. So, and it's not the Youngling Center or anything like that where the Thunderdome used to be. So I'm thinking it's at the arena where the Tampa Bay Lightning play. Because they hold more people. So it is what it is. Uh, so it said that Adam Cole um, is in Tampa. And he will speak with Vincent Kennedy McMahon in a closed door meeting before SmackDown this week. Now, I, like I said, I doubt he's going to be on the show. I wouldn't I would, I would mark the fuck out if he's on, the sh on um, SmackDown and he beats the shit out of Pat McAfee. But it is what it is. It's a, uh, they're reporting it as a high-level meeting, meaning contracts talk, I would think. Uh, someone, okay, the story says, beyond that, WWE sources have indicated that Cole is scheduled to be backstage on tonight's episode of SmackDown for what is being called a high-level meeting with Vincent Kennedy McMahon. We have not been told that Cole is planned to appear on the show. So, you never know, he might be appearing on the show. I don't know in what what capacity and what he would do. Like I said, maybe come out and shut Pac McAfee up for once. But it is what it is. Uh, it was previously reported that WWE has not offered a long-term deal to Adam because he had, a, he had a deal through 2024 and then he's like, he cut that out and then his contract was supposed to end at the Great American Bash. And then he re-signed for another month to finish the, the trilogy with O'Reilly, which is going to end at TakeOver 36, where he leaves NXT. Uh, Priest reported that Tony Khan is denying any offering uh, to Adam Cole, the former NXT champion. Uh, very interesting time for Adam Cole. A lot of momentum is likely to take place for him today. And I'm um, just going to keep, uh, keep in touch with the uh, dirt sheets. And, um, that's basically, um, all I gotta say about that. So, the Adam Cole sweepstakes is, um, on right now. Like I said, Tony Khan said there's no offer on the table. That doesn't mean he may go back, go to AEW in the future. But, 
I would think he's going to stay with, um, I think he's going to re-sign with Vince and with the WWE, and he's going to probably be on Raw and SmackDown after SummerSlam to be either on Raw or SmackDown. Probably be on SmackDown, maybe to do something with Pat McAfee again. Maybe, go, well, I don't think he's going to go after Roman. Hold on a second, there's a big boog. Stick. I think I missed it. Yeah, probably dead. Like my troll. Like my trolls. That was Nick Urs right there. Bam! But I digress. Uh, anyway. So, we'll see what happens. Um, tonight on SmackDown, if he does appear, that'd be great. A big, I'd probably get a big rating for uh, SmackDown. Because basically, SmackDown is basically pulling a 1.8 right now. Not even get barely getting two million, even with Cena on the show and uh, Edge and uh, with Cena and Edge basically on the show and Roman. So I don't know what's gonna what's gonna happen there tonight. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you guys think about Adam Cole? He's backstage at SmackDown in a meeting with Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Probably having it right now. Who knows? I don't know. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, other quickie... I'm gonna give you some quickie news before we leave. Uh, I can't go live because I only have a 30, uh, 30 minute time limit on this this um, my phone. Anyway, uh... Uh, WWE bans fans from taking photos and video at SmackDown. Really? Really? That's stupid. That's why you go to a show to take pictures. And, you know, I mean, video, I, I can understand, but photos, I think that's stupid. So you just can't take a selfie. Because they'll take your phone away from you. And you can't take video. This show has a spoiler or anything like that. I mean, it is what it is, and it's, it's very stupid. It is just, it just fucking is. It is what it is. All right, uh, ex NXT referee Drake Wirtz uh, had his Twitter account suspended because uh, he was he was trying to bring awareness to mental health and stuff. And Twitter said, "Fuck you." Another thing with Twitter, as always, Twitter loves to fuck around. Same thing with Facebook. That's why, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in Facebook jail for another six days. So I'll be back on the, uh, the 12th. Well, late, late night on the 12th. <clears throat> so late, late, late night on the 12th. I'll be back. I'll be back late Thursday night on Facebook again. And I'm going to give Zuckerberg a, um, a taste with a, a, a good, a good, uh, tongue lashing. And if I get suspended again for 30 days, you know, that's it. I'm going to just going to. I'm just gonna take down all my all my Facebook pages. I don't give a shit until until I get fucking justice around there for free speech. But that's all I gotta say about that. All right, there's a lawsuit going around for Randy Orton's tattoos. Uh, that lawsuit about that is finally going to court. Um, I think that was, that was the, the lawsuit with Randy uh, su is suing uh, the company. I think it was uh, WWE 2K. Um, I don't. You know, for putting his uh, tattoos in the game and stuff. I don't remember what it was, and I really don't care. So I got that, so we'll see what happens with that. Randy Orton might be coming back either uh, this Monday night on Raw or the Go Home show next Monday night on Raw. To set up the, uh, the eventual feud between AJ and the big Black Diesel almost defending the Raw tag team belts at SummerSlam against RK Bro. It is what it is. Uh, we found out, I think it was yesterday or today, that the SmackDown tag team titles are on the line at SummerSlam. And once again, it will be the Usos taking on the Mysterios. We got, we got Mysterios for the, well, in tag team action for the third, uh, the fourth time. Fourth time. Because they, you know, first time was when the Mysterios had the belt, and then the Usos won it at Money in the Bank, and then they had. The rematch, well, they had the two matches on SmackDown, then the, then the rematch at 
Yeah, it's, it's the fourth match. The one that's at uh, Money in the Bank. Then he had the two solo matches. Went, they went back and forth. Got a 50-50 booking and everything. Now they're going to be for the tag team belts for the fourth time at SummerSlam. The Usos versus Ray and Dominic. And we'll see what happens with that uh, when we get there. I, I think the Usos are going to retain. I think the entire bloodline is going to retain. Usos is going to retain the SmackDown belt. And Roman's going to beat Cena. Hopefully, but we'll see what happens with that. All right, uh, a little bit of quickie news. I'm going to just run through this. Uh, Charlie Caruso, or Charlie or not, uh, on um, her uh, Instagram, uh, considers Vince McMahon as undefeated. So I guess nobody can beat Vince and Kenny McMahon. Not even Tony Khan. Looks like, looks like Tony Khan's about to beat Vince McMahon in the ratings pretty soon. So, uh, Charlie, I think you're a little, uh, little, uh, little assessment there. It might not happen. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, speaking of more Vince, John Cena says Vince McMahon is the only person who continues to impress him. But, yeah, more, more kissing of the ass there, John, right? More kissing of the ass. And, um, that's that. All right, uh, WWE is hiring a, for a new position in NXT UK. So, uh, if you want to go to the UK and be a producer or write for the WWE or do whatever for NXT UK, you can go there. Me, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home on my sexy Italian ass and um, do nothing because Vince is not calling me to do commentary for his crappy shows right now. You know, me and Joe have been freaking dogging Vince to give us a call, I told, I actually sent the thing to Tony Khan, never got back to me. Kerry Silken got back to me, but says, oh, we're already, we're already stacked. But it is what it is. I say, I'll do Ring Crew! So who knows what that. Whoop! <laughs> I fell in my mouth. That's what she said. That was pussy juice coming out of my mouth. But you wish it was, right? Anyway, move on for that. Uh, X Pac. A good buddy, X Pac, Sean Waltman. Here's some interesting news X Pac pitched an exploding death match against Kane. Remember when um, X Pac and Kane were feuding? Back in the day when. The, well, DX broke up when Kane was in DX, and then um, Kane kind of turned on X-Pac when they lost the belts. So here's yeah, so X-Pac, Sean Waltman. Oh, this is good. He won in an exploding death match. Now, I don't know, exploding barbed wire match? Or just something exploding. Maybe like an exploding building match or something like that. But yeah, he picks it to WWE and WWE Vince said, No, that's too violent. Though that, that would have worked very well in the Attitude Era. Or maybe the Ruthless Aggression Era. But now, no, nope, not going to happen. Unless they would have went to CCW or even ICW or No Holds Barred. GCW, ICW, CCW. No, CIA, the one, two, three, you know. No, just saying. But yeah, I would have loved to see that. X Pac and Kane in an exploding death match. I would have loved that. But who did it first? AEW. So, Vince, you had your chance. To one up, one up, basically every other promotion next to CCW, and East, uh, you know, and you fucked it up. And that's all I gotta say um, about that. All right, a um, little bit more quickie news. Uh, WWE referee received major heat from Vincent Kennedy McMahon over Ronda Rousey's last match, which is at Wrestle uh, excuse me, WrestleMania 35, when Becky won both belts, Raw SmackDown title. 
and it looked like that Ronda had her shoulder up, which she, and in all honesty, she did, but the referee counted one, two, three. So the referee basically got major heat. I don't know who it was. I don't even know if he got fired. So. It doesn't matter now. Because, it doesn't, doesn't matter because Becky held, held both belts for a while, and then she lost, lost the SmackDown belt. So I think Charlotte, and then, uh, well, Asuka, I think it was, and then she had the she had the Raw Women's Championship for a long time, and then who gave it to Asuka when Asuka lost the SmackDown belt, the horse face? That's all I got to say about that. So we'll see what happens with that. Got a thing on The Rock, but nobody gives a shit about The Rock. All right, uh, WWE NXT higher-ups running into issue with TakeOver 36. Um... Uh, location is a bit of an issue. There was thought of holding NXT 36 in Las Vegas, calling it NXT TakeOver Las Vegas, but that's not happening, obviously. Uh, the ship has, ha might have sailed on those plans. Now key officials in WWE will be in for some tough, rough travel days. Between Hunter and, uh, Hunter and Sean. It is what it is. Maybe Stephanie. Uh, TakeOver Special in Vegas. Uh, considering it, some is still going down in Vegas despite the mandates and the, and the Delta variant going berserk there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but WWE is prepared to, for everything, and that includes long flights. Uh, companies holding trials in Las Vegas early in the week prior to SummerSlam. Uh, wrestling newsletter, Observer Newsletter noted this will call for WWE officials to take some very difficult travel plan works, um, and they won't be present for the week before TakeOver. Yeah, still finalizing the show, uh, then fly back, I guess, for NXT on Tuesday. Uh, Zoom calls can always be utilized to attend meetings, blah, blah, blah. Knock that off. That's that's basically all, all I got to say um, um, about that. Um, all right, got a little bit more. Uh, Keith Lee... There was a story about Keith Lee, why he's losing so much on WWE, because he's getting released. Obviously. Uh, WWE's third-party partner, shocked by Bray Wyatt release. That's why Fox is pissed off. And many other wrestlers are pissed off right now. Okay, uh, a lot of stuff today. Dolph Ziggler calls out pathetic fans for cheering for Goldberg. I don't know, yeah, I don't know why you would cheer for Oldberg, but it is what it is. Uh, Finn Balor wants triple threat match with Roman and Cena at SummerSlam. Please make that happen. Please. I know, I, I, want, I, want, I want Finn to get in so he can get his revenge, you know, after Cena basically stole the opportunity from him. So, have Finn come out tonight on SmackDown, beat the shit out of Baron Corbin, and then get on the mic and says, I want in. It's like, Cena, you stole the opportunity for me. Now I'm going to get my revenge. Or just have Balor beat the crap out of Cena. And then somehow he gets in the match somehow by next week or the week before. Uh, the, well, the night before um, SummerSlam. But I would love to have a triple threat match instead of uh, just a one-on-one -on -one match that we all know it's, we, that uh, Roman's going to win anyway. So it doesn't matter if it, it was a one-on-one -on -one match with Cena or a triple threat match. He's still gonna win the. T he's still gonna win the belt. He's still gonna retain the belt. I should say. That's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, okay. Uh, Cassie Lee, as we all know, as Peyton Royce says, WWE released stole her love for the, for pro wrestling, and she was the one. She actually came out and said she was the one who came up with the idea to break up the Iconics. So don't blame Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So. So, I'm sorry there, uh, you know, WWE for, you know, saying, like, oh, you broke up the Iconics. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Jim Ross, good old JR, says Vince McMahon will only s sell WWE if Triple H and Stephanie McMahon are taken care of. Financially or in a different way? I guess we'll find out with that. Uh, WWE Raw taking big risk running building despite COVID concerns. Um, I guess that's in Orlando. Uh, is this about... Yes. At the, uh, uh, on Monday, uh, Raw being Orlando's Amway Center, where the Thunderdome used to be, uh, 
With the Wrestling Observer Newsletter noted that they could be running a big risk in that venue, yet yeah, because of COVID and shit. And even was cancelled just recently due to COVID concerns, but WWE is still going through with, with the show. So the show must go on. Uh, there's reported concern that SummerSlam might have to change. Uh, you know, Clark County, uh, Nevada. And the uh, Legion Stadium has ordered that all fans at the biggest party of the summer be masked up. I don't know about uh, you have to show show proof or anything. I would I, I would assume that too. Uh, hope for the best, but the continued spread of the Delta variant and um, also course got a ton of issues. As of this writing, WB show is still going on no matter where they're booked. So some slam will happen, but we don't know where yet. Could still be in Vegas, could be at the Performance Center, or somewhere in Florida. And that's it. Alright, uh, more stuff with Adam Cole. He signed an incredibly short contract extension with WWE, like I mentioned, uh, right after the Great American Bash. He signed a, a, like a one-month deal just to stay and finish, the, finish his uh, NXT career uh, against Kyle to finish that storyline and finish his NXT career, blah, blah, blah. Uh, talked about the tag team match with the Usos and um, the Mysterios at SummerSlam. Uh, Big, e, Big E talks adding layer to his character for his singles run. Yeah, by freaking having simulated sex with the Money in the Bank briefcase. That's 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 adding a layer there. And a lot of people saying that Big E's probably gonna get get um, a lot of heat now. That he's not gonna be able to cash in. I th I thought it was hilarious, but still, that's that. Uh, Booker T, sucker, doesn't think it would be smart for Adam Cole to go to AEW. No, uh, that's his opinion. I think he should go to AEW, be with his hot-ass smoking white Dr. Whip Baker DMD, baby. That's what I say about that. Uh, like I said, Pete Dunne's contract status is up in the air right now. It might be a free agent soon. Uh, here's something that, that, um... That I heard last night from uh, you know who, um, WWE and big money lawsuit over an employee car wreck. So yeah, I think one of the employees was driving a, I think it was a WWE rented car, and it got into a big accident, fucked up the the car and everything. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. And that's pretty much it for the uh, that. All right. Uh, quickly, we're going to try to get into some AEW news. Um, Ruby Riot is going to, going to AEW. Her name is going to be Ruby Soho. Uh, Tony Khan denies making a contract offer to Adam Cole, baby. Cody Rhodes uh, talks about pos uh, Bray Wyatt possibly coming to AEW. I think he will go there. All right, uh, there's a picture of uh, CM Punk in the Stars series Heels. We should go watch on stars. Blah blah blah. Tony Khan says AEW giving WWE real competition is huge uh, for a huge help to the pro wrestling. To pro wrestling. Blah blah blah. Uh, there was a catfish that, that uh, got busted using Brandy Rhodes fo uh, photos. No no no. So Brandy Rhodes caught a catfish. It is what it is. Uh, with Bray Wyatt. Eric Bischoff says death matches could hurt AEW. Well, yeah, we, we saw the, the ending to the first death match, uh, the exploding barbed wire match that didn't go out with a, a bang, if you will. But we might get more, but, I mean, we saw the uh, Nick, Nick Gage, Chris Jericho death match. That was pretty damn good. Then uh, Moxley, Moxley Omega won at full gear a year or so ago. That was kind of brutal. It is what it is. Uh, anyway, Jordan Grace wants to travel through the Forbidden Door. So maybe see Jordan Grace in AEW. Maybe in um, in um, Japan. I wouldn't mind that. Thick Mama Pump. That's all I can say about that. Um, there's uh, there's a match with a Darby on um Dynamite this week. So I mean Darby Allen against Daniel Garcia, and nobody really cares about that. Uh, Chris Jericho says CM Punk's long absence has led to a mythology surrounding that. Um, MGF rejects a comparison to him and Ric Flair, like a young Ric Flair, but he's like, I don't see that. Uh, there was uh, some interesting names backstage at Dynamite Homecoming um, on, th on Wednesday, and one of those was Tony Nese. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, Malachi Black pitched his first program to Tony Khan. Uh, Chris Jericho and Moore donate big money to Bobby Eaton's GoFundMe. So rest in peace, Bobby Eaton and everything like that. What's that? All right, uh, Renee Biquette says there are endless opportunities for her in AEW. So she'll be going to AEW pretty soon. Uh, the viewership for Dynamite Homecoming went, went down. It's still at 1.1, so it is what it is. Uh, and also, AEW hiring for new director in scripted development and programming. Um, Brandy's upset with what happened at the end of uh, Dynamite with her, with, um, her husband, Cody, and uh, Malachi Black. The whole uh, semi-retirement thing that Cody was supposed to do. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Jim Ross wants CM Punk in AEW. I think he will be there, but we'll see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Eric Bischoff says AEW shouldn't hot shot CM Punk's debut. See so yeah, how so yeah, so with that. The Four Horsemen might be uh, reuniting in AEW. The original Horsemen. Flair, uh, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and Barry Windham. That'd be cool. And, uh, uh, uh what's his name? Like, J.J. Dillon. That'd be cool. Uh, the whole thing about Max Caster is rap on Tuesday on Dark that got pulled. Tony Khan was not happy about it. And that's pretty much it for that. All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts about everything I said in this video. Mostly about Adam Cole having a sit-down meeting with Vincent Kennedy McMahon on SmackDown. Is he going to appear on SmackDown? What's going to happen? What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section of the video. And that's it. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back later with my SmackDown review. As I got the house to myself for the next two weeks as Rosa is on assignment in Florida. Doing her uh, journalism shit. Uh, maybe she'll be appearing in Orlando. Maybe you'll see Rosa in Orlando at, um, at Raw this Monday night. And maybe at NXT. So, if you see Rosa, say hello. And, um, that's all I gotta say about that. So, it is what it is. Thank you for watching. I'll be back later for my SmackDown review on the Killer Demons channel. But for now, I'm Peter Gilmore saying, Rock on and rock hard with your cock out. No. Um, rock on, rock hard. If we With your cock out. I don't give a shit. But it is what it is. But rock on, rock hard. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bitches!